actually is a pretty decent problem. Because I remember from limits that this function basically has one, goes like that. Negative one, goes like that. So if I'm just trying to evaluate from negative seven to four, basically all I'm trying to do is, let's put the negative seven over here. I'm just trying to find the area here and the area there. Yes? Now, since I have these holes, does that affect the area? If the function is not defined at that exact value, does that affect the area under the line or under the curve? Bless you, bless you. Does it affect it? No, not really, because no, not at all. Because that's just saying that value is undefined. But that doesn't mean anything about the area being undefined. So here, now again, remember this is negative though, right? So we've got to be careful. So we basically, let's just call this like a1. Well, that's negative. And this would be a2. Well, fortunately, guys, these aren't that bad of height is 1, and the height is 1 here, right? I mean, we know it's a negative area, but just do the length and width as, or base and height and be an area as positive. So basically, what we have here is, um, you know, 7, 7 times 1, but again, it's a negative area. And then 4 times 1, and that's a positive area. So we get a net negative 3. Did anybody get that confirmed? Huh? Negative. So your calculator is just approximating. Which you need to understand that, too.